Hi, welcome to this tutorial on Soundcamp's Mixer. I'll just go through all the features and show you all the things that I've worked out. First, we're just going to create a project. And I'm just going to put a couple of tracks down. I'll, put, I'll use just two loopers with the same sound pack put another channel Okay, now we've both got our channels, I'm switching to the mixer. It will show us the two channels there. And we can manually go ahead and adjust the volume of those two channels. That's what I'm doing here. Okay, so first feature I want to show you is these is your you can insert effects so each channel you have two slots there where you can add effects I've got you can download these off the um, app store uh, this is just one as an example you can um, it's an effects pedal so you can plug in guitars and and it works really well in sound camp Okay, this one I'm just going to select a preset. Close that. Just going to select some delay. Okay, once I've selected the preset and the delay, now it'll add that to that channel. So basically anything that comes out of that looper is going to go through that effect. And I can also add another one to double my effects. When we switch to the equalizer, the EQ, we've got three band equalizer that obviously we can adjust highs, lows and mids and they they won't take effect until you press these buttons on the bottom. Once we select them the EQ comes into line. Okay now under the mix inserts and EQ you've got these RW now they're for read and write. Now when we press the W for write, when we move the um, channel mixer, it'll record it'll record what we did. So while that W button's on, it'll record what movement you're doing to the mixer. Now when we select the R, which is read, and we play back, we'll be able to see it automatically adjusting that second looper. That's doing that by as recorded, and it will fade down as recorded. Okay. Also, we'll do the first channel while the second channel fades up. We'll fade the first channel down, and then. We'll bring it back up and channel 2 fades down. Okay, that was in read and write mode, so you, it's going in live. What you're doing to one channel, it's recording on the next channel. Okay, I just want to show you without the read button, nothing happens. You're in full manual mode. Another automation happens if you're not in the read mode. Okay, so we'll go in read mode. And we'll see both the sliders move autonomously.
another autonomous uh, automation that we can use this for is the pan. We can, while the sliders are being manipulated, we can also manipulate the pan left and right and record them. So just re write that now, read. And we should see two sliders in a pan being on autonomy. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, the M and the S down the bottom is your mute and solo. So when you have the S selected, only those channels will be heard. And obviously if you have the mute button, that channel will not be heard. So when you do a solo, every other channel will be muted except that channel. Now those uh, M and S buttons and the master are not uh, not on the aut autonomous section, so it's purely just faders and pans that, are, that you can record autonomously. This is the amp section uh, and the master, so you can select your EQ, your final out, and your final output level here. Okay, also we can reset the mix automation. So all those automation, if we want to start again, we can clear it there and start again. Um, but we're now we're back to totally manual with no automation. So just switching the mixes and the EQs on and off, just so you can hear. Okay, that pretty much sums up everything I know on this mixer at this stage. Um, obviously, if I learn more or hear of any other tips and tricks that are hidden there, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching.